Earlier in this unit, we talked about average value, and we derived the formulas for average value of a function of one variable, 1 over b minus a, times the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. But another way of thinking about that is instead of b minus a, that's the length of the integral, right? It's just what happens if I ignore the f of x and integrate with respect to dx, 1 times dx, right? I just get that length. And so now the average of f of x, y, for a function on two variables, well, I take the double integral over the region R of f of x, y, dA, and I divide out the area of the region R. Well, I'm gonna skip the derivation because it's the same derivation as exactly the same idea, and we can, in fact, see a pattern here. In fact, I want you to pause the video and just write in this space exactly what you think the average value of a function on three variables should be. I have a feeling you wrote this down. Now you might not have called it B, but I've been calling the regions in space B, so I'm gonna leave it. Your textbook, if you're taking this course at LMS Community College, uses, I think, capital D to define these uh, regions in space, and of course we could call it whatever we wanted to. The average value of a function on three variables, well, we calculate a triple integral over the volume B, over the solid B, and we have to divide out the volume of B.